Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to Channeling Korea. Today is July the 18th, 2021. As with um, the other times, the other sessions, as we begin by doing a short meditation before I start into the channeling. So please everybody join me. Just take a deep breath in and let it all go. Take another deep breath in and let it all go. Continue to take in deep breaths and as you use your breath, as you use these deep breaths in and deep breaths out, use your breath for you to come into the present moment. Let go of anything that is distracting you from being in this moment and simply Tune in to yourself. Start to let go of thoughts. Let go of any tension in your body. Use your breath. Your breath is always with you. It's a beautiful tool for you to focus on yourself be present with where you are, who you are in this moment. As you become more present to yourself. Start to set the intention that you want to move into your heart, which means focus on your heart. You can do that by simply placing your hand on your heart to remind yourself to put your focus there. Or you can imagine that you're stepping in this energetic elevator that takes you from your head all the way into your heart. And when you are in your heart, feel the peace that is within your heart. And imagine that you can actually breathe in and breathe out from your heart. As you breathe, imagine that you can, you can breathe in to your heart. Imagine taking in infinite possibilities into your heart. And when you breathe out, imagine that you are releasing anything that is distracting you in your heart to be here in this moment. In your heart, Set the intention that you want to feel unconditional love. Whatever unconditional love means for you, allow yourself to feel that in your heart in this moment. Feel your heart 
opening to receive more unconditional love. And when you feel you can tune into and be open to unconditional love, then allow this feeling to be transferred to all over your body as well, so that you can feel unconditional love all over, from the top of your head all the way to the soles of your feet. Feel what it feels like to be in unconditional love. And when you can feel this, un <clears throat> this unconditional love all over your body, then set the intention to send love to Mother Earth. Send a beam of light with unconditional love from your heart. to the heart of Mother Earth, to the center, the consciousness of Mother Earth, and feel Mother Earth returning your love a million times over. At the same time, Send a beam of unconditional love from your heart all the way up to the sun, to Father Sky. Send love to Father Sky and feel Father Sky returning your love a million times over. Feel yourself being surrounded by unconditional love. Continue to breathe in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that is taking you away from this moment. What do you feel in your body right now? How do you like the new energies? Are you aware that you're changing? every day, sometimes even more than once a day, you, your definition, your sense of who you are is changing, shifting.
you may not notice it at first because at first the changes are so minimal. You, all of you, have been shifting and changing. It seems like only small steps, small changes at first. And at first, you don't, you don't see it yet. You don't notice it yet because you somehow seems to be the last person to notice these things. That's why in these times, it is a good idea actually to journal to write down, to write down your thoughts. So that in a week's time, in a month's time, or maybe even longer, in a year's time, you can look, look back on these journals and be able to truly be amazed at how far you have come. You may not notice it at first, or maybe you have, depending on how conscious you are of these shifts within yourself. Yet each, each and everyone that is on Mother Earth right now, on this beautiful playground, each one, each one that are actually playing an active role, a conscious role, are making these minute changes. And all of these little changes will add up to being a big monumental change soon enough. Imagine each one on Mother Earth makes a very little change, a slight change a few times a day, every day. Each one of us are changing, shifting together. In a month's time, or in three months time, can look back and be able to recognize the thought patterns that you have. It's different from right now. Things that you used to become attached to Things that you used to take for granted. In a month's time, or maybe in a few months' time, you get to a point where you don't miss them. You don't even care about them about those events and places and habits and thought patterns. You don't care for them anymore. 
you will start to notice these changes. Or maybe you already have noticed them. And if you have already noticed them, then congratulate yourself. Give a pat on your back to yourself. Celebrate that. That is exactly what we are all here to do in this moment. We are all here to let go of old patterns. We have been using those old patterns for such a long time now. They are safe. Or at least we think that they are safe. But now, you are ready for change. Your soul is ready for change. Perhaps part of you still wants to hang on to those old patterns. Unfortunately, you're out of luck. All of those old thinking patterns are scheduled to be released back into infinite possibilities. It is time. to find new thought patterns and experiment with them. And this is all what we are all doing. Some of us are more adventurous, more consciously looking for change. And some of us are still trying to Stay put as much as possible. But it's getting harder and harder to hang on to these old patterns. You can try. But you won't be succeeding for very long. kind to yourself, especially if you're trying to hang on. You have to be extra kind to yourself. Because the more you're trying to hang on, the more you will be feeling the waves, the waves of change being hurled against you. The harder it is you're going to feel if you try to hang on until one day you finally break down and simply let go. And when you let go, you're going to feel like you're not in control anymore. 
it's really scary at first. And that is why you have been trying to hang on to because of this fear of the unknown. Nothing is unknown. You already know what is coming next. Somewhere inside you, you already know what is coming next. Everyone knows already what is coming next. It may be slightly different for each one. But you know, you can pretend to not know, but we assure you that your soul and your higher self have been trying to tell you what's coming next. You just have not been listening. You have been too busy resisting the changes. So whenever you're ready to stop, resisting, you can simply take a deep breath in, let it all go, clear your mind, clear away all the mental chattering that is trying to tell you to hang on, be in control, take control. Let go of those conversation. Instead, listen, listen to what your higher self and your soul is trying to to tell you what's coming next. What's the best thing for you to do in order to prepare for what's coming next? What's coming next is nothing to be afraid of. Change is coming. And that is the good news. Change is coming. And you are in charge of those changes.
and remember who you truly are, your eternal essence embodied. That is who you truly are. And when you are in that vibration, the vibration of eternal essence embodied, then there's nothing to be afraid of. you will be able to get through all the changes. You have done this before. You have been through similar changes before. And you have always been able to get through it. And know that only those that are ready to move on to the new playground would be able to get through it. And what happened to the rest? The rest will be okay. They too will go to the best place for them. Their soul will guide them to find the best playground for them to continue and those who are ready to follow Mother Earth. into this new playground. Those people have all that they need in order to get through these changes. These changes may feel uneasy at first they will turn out to be absolutely brilliant. It is going to be magnificent. But it is also very scary because you know you are not used to this. You're not used to getting your way. You're used to fighting. You are used to things being hard. You're used to a certain way of thinking. And where we are going has none of those. Everything would be new. So new that at first you may not even know which side of the bed to get up in the morning. It is going to be that new because 
who you are is changing. You're used to everything being in this body. Where you're going is not as embodied as where you have been. Everything is more spontaneous. And you don't like spontaneous. You like to plan things out. You like to know what's going to happen tomorrow, a year from now. Some people even have 10 year plans. That's not going to work. You may be able to have 10 minute plans. You may be able to have one day plan. But 10, even 10 day plans are stretching it. This new playground. There's nothing that you can plan. You simply have to be spontaneous. This new playground has a lot more fun and joy in it. It's very loosey goosey. And this upsets a lot of people. This new playground, you have to know who you are, really know who you are. You have to be able to come across an opportunity and be able to check in, check within. at a moment's notice to either jump in or not. If you take more than a few moments to have to figure out whether it is for you or not, if you have to talk to 10 different people Ask an oracle or two to second guess yourself, flip flop. If you do that, the opportunities for more fun is going to move by and it's not going to come back until the next one come along. You have to know yourself a lot better. And that's why all these energies are here to assist you. All these restrictions are going to come along to assist you.
to assist you to get to know who you are, what is okay, and what is not. And also to assist you in being able to make choices in each moment, be in this moment now. Know who you are now. Don't make a choice for who you are a month down the road. Make the choice for who you are in this moment. If it's right for you now, it's right for you now. And if it's not right for you a month from now, then you can always change and shift. You have that freedom now to shape things, to shape your own reality. That's why all these different events, choices, are coming. So many choices coming to assist you to get good at knowing yourself, to get good at making choices, to let go of the old way of making choices. A new way of making choices is here and now in this moment. be able to look and feel and know, does this make sense for me now? And if it is not, then let go. It is a very different way of life. We are used to moving so slowly. We used to maybe only make one choice a year, one big choice a year. Sometimes we don't even make one big choice a year. Now is the time to train you to make big choices. Each day, each day choose to be you. And live the best version of you today. And if you didn't 
do so well. Then tomorrow, you choose that again. And you let go of that internal dialogue that reminded you, oh, you didn't do so well yesterday. You have to be careful today. You have to think twice. No, <laughs> yesterday was yesterday. Today is today. You make the choices for who you are today. You do the best. And if the best didn't turn up to be so good, you let that go. And tomorrow, when you wake up, you wake up as the new person that you are. And make the choices that make sense to you in that moment. This is how each and every one of us will be able to be able to navigate in this new playground. The new playground is already here. And yes, the old playground is also here as well. It's a little confusing because there are layers of playgrounds You're playing in the new playground. If you set the intention to do that, if you set the intention to embody who you are, who you truly are in this moment, each day, notice the new invitations, notice what you notice about the new playground that is slightly different from the old ones. When new opportunities comes around, and you make your choices according to who you are in this moment, not who you were yesterday, or who you were 10 years ago, but who you are here and now. You make that choice. And then you're playing in the new playground. Free yourself. Make no mistake that 
the new playground is already here. Choose to see that. Choose to tune into that, the new playground. and discover how beautiful it is, how easy it is. Yes, you will still see people around you struggling. They are still playing in the old playground. Struggling is part of the old playground. And some people love to struggle. That is why it can be rather confusing because in the new playground, it's easy. It's flowing. What you needed, what you set your mind to experience, you will get those. And it seems a little bit confusing because you will notice how easy it is in your life. And you see people around you struggling It looks like you're living in the same world, but it is not. Energetically, it is a completely different reality. So if you are struggling, if you are seeing people that are struggling. And then you know which one they are playing in. You can share. Share with them that they don't need to struggle. Some people may look at you when you share that there's no more struggling. It's easy. They look at you like you're crazy. This is the most difficult part, the most difficult part is to honor, is to allow them to be in their process. Some people will struggle and struggle until they finally give up. And they surrender 
and stop trying to control. Then they can find the way into the new playground. But it is all their soul's choice. All you can do is to let go. And start to shift your world, shape your world according to who you are in this moment. That is all you need to do. Because in this new playground, you have a lot more power to shape it. And you know within yourself what it is that you are here to do. You chose to step into the new playground for a reason. Not everyone makes this choice. Those who make that choice will know. It is not a difficult transition at all. Do not believe in difficult transitions. All you need to do is simply make the choices that is right for you in this moment. It's not complicated. And to remember everything you need will be supplied. People, places, events, all of those has already been planned out. And you already have the memo. You may not consciously know the memo, 
know what's in the memo, but you have the memo. And when the time comes, you will know what to do. It is that simple. And that is all we would like to share with you. Be good to yourself. Make it simple. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>